Monday is not necessarily people's favorite day, maybe even the most hated one. I, on the other hand, love it. It feels like a fresh start, a clean slate, a day to be a little more productive. And sometimes we just need a new beginning, a chance to reset and get back on track. Okay, let me open my book to see what I have planned for today. The bad thing about Monday mornings is that I don't remember anything that I did the previous week. What I'm trying to do today morning is get done with this UI review task. So basically, I'm doing a lot of front-end tasks right now. And when you work on the front-end, usually in bigger companies, you tend to work with the designer. And sometimes the designer is in the same team as you. And what we have to do now is that check with the designer if they're happy with the changes that we engineers implemented. If the designer is not so happy with it, then they will give us feedback and then we need to implement the feedback. So we had such a review session recently and then now I need to go and make those changes to the front end and also fix some bugs that the team found. I just have meetings in the morning and then I have nothing left after that. So I'm very happy to have the rest of the afternoon to actually get stuff done. Okay, I just finished the changes needed for the UI review, so I think we're ready with that. Next, I have, there's a launch checklist that I need to double check to make sure that we have everything ready for a launch. And I think that's what I'm going to do now. So to give you a bit of background, I used to actually be a front-end engineer when I started to do internships. So I did this one internship that was three months long as a front-end engineer, where I worked on Angular and it was in a startup. So the code was very, very dirty. Then after that, I did another internship, which was a year long, again in a startup, which was, I think they did Angular for six months and then we actually rewrote the code in React. And then I did backend for like two years and again, mostly backend for another two years. And then now I'm back to doing a lot of front-end tasks. <sighs> okay, I just pushed another piece of code and I think we're pretty much on track today. Like uh, stuff is getting finished pretty quickly and I'm very excited for what I'm going to do today evening. The idea of what I'm going to create is, let me show you. Okay, the problem is basically, I always cannot find what to wear, especially in Berlin where the weather just changes so often. Let's say I have three items in my closet top. I have a black skirt and a pink skirt. And basically what I want to know is what are the different outfit permutations I can take. So all I want this app to tell me is what different outfits can I take? And then I want to be able to like scroll through all the outfits and decide what I want to wear that day. I would use this, so that's how I want to create it. At first, I thought maybe I can do like a web app because I'm more a web developer. I've never really done a proper iOS or Android app. I mean, I did use Android Studio a long, long time ago, but I don't remember Java, so I'm not doing that. I've heard a lot of people talk about Flutter, so I think I'm going to use Flutter. Let's finish up with this last task that I have for work. Then we can talk more about my unnamed <laughs> Tell Me What Outfit to Wear app. Actually, that's a good name. Tell Me What Outfit to Wear. You know what time it is? It's building our app time. Okay, first things first. I'm going to create the Figma designs. I mean... How hard can it be? And then I will start on the code. My goal is to do this in a few days, but I do have a lot of like social events planned this week. So I don't think I'm going to be able to do it this week. Hmm. Maybe next week. Okay, let's see. Let's see how this goes. Okay, I have learned that I clearly don't know enough about designing, especially for apps. Like, I have done mock-ups before, but I don't know how, like, designers make it look so good. 
I think I need to learn a bit more about designing, especially for iOS apps. And I think I have the perfect tool to do that, which is Skillshare, who are also the sponsors of this video. Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives with thousands of classes led by industry experts. With just one platform, you have access to so many different classes about almost every topic under the sun, from filmmaking, illustration, design, freelance, productivity, and even coding. Whether you're a professional wanting to enhance your skills or a noob like me wanting to learn more about Figma and design, Skillshare is the perfect place. I'm someone who likes to dabble in different type of hobbies, from filmmaking to creating Notion templates, to even trying out art. So having access to Skillshare classes has actually made that learning process for me so much easier and reduced that barrier to entry when trying out new skills or just picking something new up. Once I feel like I don't know about a topic or am curious about it, all I have to do is search for that topic on Skillshare, find a class that resonates with me and level up my skills from there on. It could not be any easier. I even have thoughts and aspirations of becoming a tutor or a teacher myself, talking about more coding related classes, but that's for a future video. So if you're looking to learn something new, level up and don't really know where to start, check out the link in the description box below. The first 500 people will actually get a free one month trial of Skillshare. So don't walk run to become a member now. Okay, I think I found the perfect course for me, which is this perfect complete web design from Figma to Webflow Skillshare class. You'll find the link to a file that has a solution to it. Oh no, I'm very late. Okay, let's get ready. Ended up having a very nice work night with some really, really good food. I was so tired this morning, so my morning started off super late, but it's 9.30 now. I'm gonna uh, try and get some stuff done before my morning stand up at 10. And then I think I need to move my body, might go for a walk or something. I have just one meeting today at 10 and that's gonna be like a more planning kind of meeting so it's a bit longer with the rest of the team and after that I have the whole day to just get stuff done because I have a ticket that I picked up last week and I'm still working on it now after that for me there's no more meetings okay don't get me wrong meetings are not bad but I'm someone who likes to have a full day of just getting stuff done like coding and other stuff okay mostly coding and I get to do cool stuff like try out my new air fryer, which I am so happy about. Okay, right now I'm going to show you this new recipe that I learned, which takes less than three minutes. In the air fryer, put a tortilla, put cheese, another tortilla, ketchup, cheese, done. And voila, we have the quickest snack. Ever. As you can probably tell, the work day is over. So now I'm going to work on my figure out what to wear app. Okay, it's time to clean up the face. It's so sunny, I think I have to wear sunscreen today. Because I'm brown, I get such a white cast that I really, really have to tap, tap, tap it all in. So the plan for the day is to go to the office and since it's summer, maybe a bit of blush. Okay, so I choose between this the wired headphones or Bluetooth. Three years ago, I would have picked Bluetooth like hands down. But to be honest, now I'm really into this wired headphone thing. Gym clothes. To 
today is Friday and I'm at the office and we're gonna have some really nice lunch. So I'm very, very excited. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.